Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with Jason Butterfield. Uh, we are in the shop, and uh, if you've been following along to my channel, you'll have seen some repeated videos on the progress of our gargantuan uh, 132nd scale Baleo class submarine. Now, a lot of you, uh, maybe a little bit tongue in cheek, are like, well, how the heck are you going to transport that submarine around? Well, we've got the solution that we came up with. All right, Jason, how the heck did we build this? Why, why are we using a ladder? Uh, well, we used extension ladder two, or a one ten foot section of an extension ladder. Um, and then three quarter inch PVC, um, kind of fit it through the holes, cut, soldered, or uh, glued and screwed, everything in here so it's nice and sturdy. Uh, went and got some pool noodles. See, wrap them on there, slit it, nice, firm cradle, it's not going to go anywhere, nice and rigid, and super light. How, mu how much do you guess? So the, the sub is almost ready to go, right? Like we are basically at the trim point right now. We'll be doing another video on the status of the boat. Um, probably tomorrow, hopefully, where we've revised the smoke system. We're pretty excited about that. We're waiting for one more part to come in and then we're gonna do a video on that. But basically, the sub's ready to go. So what, what are you guessing this whole thing would weigh? 20 pounds at the most. On your side? So no, like I'm 40 or 50? No, you're, you're full of it. <laughs> no, I got That's a good crop. I'm gonna say, Everything. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say 80. Should we get the scale? I think we should get the scale. We should go get the scale. All right. Now we're now we're gonna see how good we know this. So we got we got our scale, our little shipping scale, and Jason's weighing in like 180-ish. So now he's gonna try and pick up the boat without dropping it, and if he does, it'll be on video. Two forty-six. Two forty-six from one eighty. So what are we at here? That. Well, you were at one eighty sixty-six pounds, all in, including the shipping cradle. That's not bad at all. That's like doable by one person. The worst part is it's just so big and bulky. It's hard to uh, to manage it, but. Of course, when it's full of water coming out of the pond, it's going to weigh significantly more than that. But for transportation, I think this is going to be pretty good. What's what's our plan for shipping when we throw this in the back of the truck? What how are we going to transport it? Uh, well, we're going to get some bungees, wrap some bungees back and forth in two or three strategic places. Tie down straps, ratchet straps, tie it down, and make sure it goes doesn't go anywhere inside the truck. Yeah, I think with some with some like you said some bungee straps and the, the cool thing about this ladder is it's got lips and everything already so we can just hook it right over the boat maybe put some cloth on so it doesn't damage the paint finish especially after we update the weathering and all of that fun stuff but yeah so I'm, we're hoping this week uh we're gonna have that boat trimmed out perfectly which means in theory we could see a lake test next week ish so stay tuned for that so there you go um this big boat required uh, a little bit of creativity in terms of the boat stand but the again the cool thing with that aluminum step ladder super rigid um nice and, and firm and lots of good places to hook things onto uh, places to grab it and move it around so that's our solution for a a big boat stand for a big boat uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and like. It helps us out a lot. We're going to let you go. Stay tuned for the trim video coming up soon. We will catch you next time.